As far as weight loss, if you want to consider exercise, it, it's absolutely imper imperative that you do that. But the biggest mistake that I see people make is to simply get a treadmill and get on that thing every day. Do you know that runners have a higher requirement for protein than even those big muscle heads? The truth is that if you're going to do just aerobic exercise, you end up using a lot of protein for fuel. Now let's say I burn up all my protein, now I can't burn fat as well. That's an important thing if you're trying to lose weight. So if you're gonna talk about the best exercise for weight loss, you have to talk about a combination of different things. You have to not just do aerobics, you have to get into different types of aerobics. You also have to build muscle. And you also have to retain your function. So you have to look at your exercise as where you're gonna get the most benefit. Don't just do aerobic exercise. It's an important factor. But probably the more effective aerobic exercise is to do something like interval training. What you're doing then is you're actually creating a situation where your heart's stronger, where your body is able to do something harder and recover. And in that recovery time, it actually goes through some real changes. First of all, you stimulate more mitochondrial production. That's a huge thing. Over time, if you're not exercising, you lose mitochondria. So you need to find a way to stimulate more. Without mitochondria, you can't burn fat. So you go get on the treadmill every day, you may just find that you waste away and you become fatter and fatter. So if you're going to use the treadmill, go ahead, but learn about interval training. The other thing you've got to do is you do have to teach your body how to burn fat. So you've got to look into different types of endurance training. That means you can't just jump on something for 15 or 20 minutes and expect to lose fat. Endurance means duration, means a longer time period. So you've got to do a little bit of a longer workout. Most runners will do a long, slow distance day. They'll go out there for a longer period of time and maintain a good effort but they're going for a longer period of time. You need both factors. So just get on the treadmill for 15 minutes or go out and walk your dog to the mailbox, you aren't gonna get there. You also have to build lean tissue and it takes some intense exercise to do that. You can't do exercise where you're lifting something or doing tubing or however you're gonna do your resistance. You can't do high reps and expect that you're gonna lose weight. It may help you with fat burning once you've got muscle built, but the key to muscle building is stimulating the muscle. So that's where you have to keep your repetitions in weightlifting at 15 or less. You have to find ways to stimulate muscle growth. That means more strength and stress on the muscles. So you've got to do a little bit of power lifting per se. I don't expect you to lift cars and things like that, but I expect you to use enough weight that you've stimulated some muscle growth and that's going to be a real key to weight loss. The other thing you have to do is look at your function. You have to look at getting your body to work better. That's where yoga, Pilates, movement comes in. Work on a gym ball. Get yourself so you're a functional person so you can get out and do these things. You need all those factors. Every one of them contributes to weight loss. It's not all about what the best exercise is. It's about getting all those factors addressed so you get all the benefits.